hello 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 and welcome to another video today we're looking back at a ride that i did with john who i'm pleased to say now has a helmet uh, about two weeks ago now we did a 112 kilometer round trip to peel monument in the heart of ramsbottom it was a hilly ride but a very good day for it with no major mishaps unlike last time after visiting Peel Monument, we headed into Manchester and then headed back via a few football stadiums. No spoilers, although saying that it's probably in the description, but never mind. Anyway, I won't ramble on. Here it is. Enjoy. The round trip began in St Helens as we made our way down the East Lanks before passing through the suburbs of Wigan and Bolton and then finally heading into Ramsbottom. Here, we would begin the ascent up Holcomb Hill to 340 metres above sea level and, of course, reach Peel Monument. After stopping for some food, we then headed towards Manchester via Bury and Salford where, after another quick refreshment stop, we then began our turn home, heading through Eccles, Astley, Never gonna give you up and then a final stretch down the East Lanks to bring us back to where we started. Simple as that. But first, I had some business to attend to. Well, first stop of the day after about 3k, because I'm here at the post office to send back a parcel. Tried to film the other day on a bike ride and this camera was useless, so sending it back and I'm back on the phone today. Well, I've already messed up because it turns out I needed a Hermes store, not a post office. So, cycling for another two miles now to a Hermes store, parcel tucked under my shirt. It's not ideal. Got it right this time, and with that, we were able to get moving. So, just heading down the East Lanks now. For how long are we on here for? How long are we on here for? Oh, we're off on the next turn off, so it's not too bad. Ashton Makerfield, yeah. Unlike the last ride, we made pretty good grounds with no major issues, other than a loose seat pole for John and a near miss with a bird, which I just happened to catch on camera. See how you know. <laughs> Not the world's best cycling path. John's gone on down there, but I've just stopped to take a look at this view. Once we had passed through the more metropolitan and built up area of Bolton Town Centre, the scenic views would begin to get better and better as we gradually began to ascend up higher terrain. So that up there in the distance on the top of that hill is where we are headed. We are on one massive hill right now. So I'm letting them get ahead and then the chase is on. How are you feeling after that hill? Easy. I feel like <laughs> you could go up another 10 hills. <laughs> I'm sure there's many more to come. There's Manchester in the distance, where we're heading back later on. Just entering Holcomb Village after what feels like an eternity of climbing. 
think there's a bit more climbing to go yet though, so onwards and upwards, literally. Now, while we'd had a long and steady climb up to this point, the final path would bring an even steeper incline on some pretty dodgy road. So this road is very steep and as you can see, not very good for cycling on either. It's a stand cycling job right now because I'm going nowhere fast up here. That's for sure. Having finally crawled our way to the top, we were greeted with some pretty amazing views. Cue the montage music. Built and then opened in September 1852, this tower serves as a memorial to Sir Robert Peel, who's regarded as the father of modern British policing and who twice served as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom back in the early to mid 1800s. Well, we've reached the summit and as you can see, it's a little bit windy. Nice to know that it's all downhill from here. And before we knew it, we were back at the bottom again, and just in time for my favourite part of any trip, food. Helmet's back on, heading towards Manchester now. How are you feeling after your scrap? Refreshed, good to go. Well, we're now at the bottom. You know what they say, what goes up must come down. I think we're hitting 47, 48 kilometers an hour coming down there. Wind making my eyes stream, but that was fun. I mean, I said fun, but truth be told, I was absolutely bricking it. Anyway, having surpassed the halfway mark, we continued our journey into Manchester, but not without stopping off at a couple of football league clubs past and present first. Well, we were just passing through Bury, so I thought we'd stop off and see Gig Lane. It's a shame what's happened to this football club. To say it's a shame doesn't even come close, but best of luck to the new Bury as they try to work their way through the non-league pyramid and back into the football league. And with that, the next stop was just five miles down the road to a team who've done just that. So we've gone from one very historic football club to another maybe not so historic football club, Salford City, and that's literally all there is to see. Well, as you can see, we are heading into Manchester now. Probably stop and have a quick drink there. Now, a bit of a backstory. On a ride in New Brighton a few weeks ago, we bumped into Lewis Emmerich, AKA Mick Johnson off Brookside. If you even know what Brookside is, I certainly do because I used to love it. Anyway, much to my astonishment or amusement, just as we entered Manchester City Centre, we bumped into another Brookie character, and this time it was Philip Olivier, aka Tinhead. He was more than happy to stop and have a quick chat and get a photo with me, and to use his words, maybe I'll bump into Simbad next time. Anyway, on we go.
Struggling to find a bar that would accommodate two lads with bikes, we did eventually find this decent little spot for a quick drink before then making our journey home. gone seven now sun is right in our faces heading out of Manchester now and towards Eccles Well, we have left the hustle and bustle of the busy roads and we are now on a canal route, as you can see. We've run here for quite some way now, so just gonna kick back, get blinded by the sun and uh, just enjoy the ride now, really. How are you feeling? Horrific. Horrific? Yeah. Why? No energy left. No energy left. He's gassed. He's gassed. He's gassed. Another 18 miles to go. sun to the banks shortly so just gonna head on down here i think it's another three and a quarter miles to lee and then i mean my geography is rubbish i guess like another hour from the i don't know but anyway on we go John's over my shoulder somewhere but this is the boring bit now we're on the East Lanks pretty much all the way home now so not a lot to report on k mark probably about 10k till we get home um sun in my eyes wind against but it's not been too bad to be fair just waiting for john to catch up and i thought i would just come under one of these bridges and see what's going on and to be fair as you can see not a lot <laughs> Well, I've waited five minutes, so I think while I was messing about in there, I think he must have gone past, so I'm gonna have to get my skates on. There he is. 
now he thinks I'm miles ahead so he's not going to expect me to be coming from behind now so let's catch him Hey, where have you been? Getting treated to a beautiful dual carriageway sunset. Not much daylight left now, got the lights on. Just outside Tesco, John's gone in to get some food. And I think I'm going to do the same. Nearing the finish now. What's been your review of this uh, route? All right, by the last 20 miles. Yeah. As... 20 miles hard, last 20 miles. Yeah, nearly out of sunlight, but been a good ride, so happy days. All right, mate, you off? All right, I'll catch you tomorrow. Yeah. Have a day after. All right, then. And I am nearly home myself. Can't wait to get in and have some food. And that's exactly what I did. Thanks for watching.